it is. It is going to qualify as a two bar short. So what I'm going to do is if this current bar closes right there, it just did, I'm going to put a limit sell order in at 50 to try to get a two tick better fill here. And the reason I, I'm doing it is just because things are moving so slow and I might miss out on the trade. You know, that's part of anytime you look for a value entry, you run the risk of missing out on the trade. <clears throat> but because crude is moving so slow, the odds are a little bit higher that I'll still get a fill. And this way I can reduce my overall risk. All right, so now I got smaller risk and a better chance of getting to my target. We'll see what ends up happening. Three ticks, four ticks into the profit. Come on, baby. This current bar closes down, we'll get a standard sniper signal to fire short also. Chop, chop, chop. Man, tough markets to participate in today. Gold's moving better now. It's moving down nicely. Definitely better price moving in gold. Black to plus three. Come on. There we go. Plus four. I'm locking up my stop a little bit here. Yeah, I'm pretty sick of this, so I'm locking up my ah, nuts. I just exited for a two-tick win. we got to call it a break-even. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to move my stop, but I had clicked on my target, so it actually moved my target and took me out of the trade. So my bad. That will have to be called a break-even for me. Um, with one click order modification that kind of thing can happen on you if you're not careful so I mean I'm if we had a little bit better price movement I'd be tempted to just enter right back in here but you know it looks like it's gonna get there I think it is but it's such an ugly slow moving thing I'm just gonna leave it be 